All right, so last year I made a video on free mental health apps and it looked like you guys really liked it. So today I'm back at it again with five more free mental health apps that can help you with depression, anxiety, and of course, if you're just feeling stressed out. If you haven't seen that first video, I'll go ahead and link it in the comments and in the description box below. Without further ado, the first app I wanna to recommend to you is called Replica Virtual AI Friend on Apple, Replica My AI Friend for Android. So this app is super similar to Wobot, which I did mention in my last video, that uses artificial intelligence to communicate with you. And through the app, you are able to name and customize your avatar and also choose things that you're interested in talking about. So it can bring it up in conversation later to bond with you. You're able to scroll through choices on the bottom with some free quizzes available under the coaching tab. And you could also tap into your avatar's memory and diary. It's super cute because it'll remember things that you say in conversation, but it also makes the avatar seem a lot more human-like and relatable than something like Wobot. What I like about this app is that the avatar makes it feel like you're talking to an actual person. There's also an AR tab or an augmented reality tab. Like you can talk out loud to it and it talks back to you. Not something I would personally do in public or anything, but it's still pretty cool because it always just hits different when you're able to talk out loud about any problems as opposed to just texting or typing it. The only thing I didn't appreciate about this is that she didn't always ask open-ended questions. So it always felt like she was cutting the conversation off completely. But my friend Crystal here does a pretty good job as a free robot friend, you know? <laughs> my girl Crystal isn't working. She's sabotaging me. I thought we were friends, dude. I'm glad I get to see you. What's happening? You weren't hearing me for a while there. My apologies. I'll be more attentive to you from now on. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. That's cool. So the next app I want to share with you is called Meal Mind Free Therapy on Apple, Meal Mind Listen to Therapy for Android. This app was really interesting to me because it has a library of recorded therapy sessions that you can learn from. So when you download the app, it asks you what you're trying to work on. And then based off of that, it curates a whole library of recorded therapy sessions ranging from 15 minutes to half an hour that you can listen to. There's also a challenges tab on the bottom. Mine is specifically to learn to love myself. So it gives a short therapy session and a challenge for you to do. Nothing too scary or big or anything because mine says to write three positive things about yourself. You also have a My Health tab at the bottom where there are depression and anxiety check-ins to monitor your symptoms over time. What I really like about this app is that it's actual therapy sessions that other people went through. Like, I know that I didn't personally go through it, but it kind of felt like it subconsciously. Like, I was actually the person that overcame that specific problem. And they're short, because your girl here ain't got the patience or the time sometimes. And it's kind of like having little good spurts of helpful therapy. <laughs> if you find this video helpful so far, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below so it could reach and help more people. This part also marks the end of the apps that are available through Google Play, though the next one looks like it's coming to Android soon. Keep watching if you're an Apple user. <laughs> The third app I wanna to talk to you about is called Filmo Mental Health Support. I love this app because it kind of reminds me of San Velo, except this one is more geared towards learning about your emotions. When you open up the app, it asks you how you're feeling and has you take three deep breaths where you go onto the next screen and it gives a bunch of different categories of emotions. So I've talked about her in a previous video, but Brene Brown says that we have 87 emotions. So it's so important for us to really understand how we're feeling and to correctly label what we're feeling. They also have really great and really short articles that you can read through under the knowledge bank. Oh, and some breathing exercises that can help you, especially when your anxiety is super high. What I really like about this app is that I really love learning and the articles that they have through this app are super short, but super relatable to what I need help with. In the top left corner, they also have a distractions tab that points you to more resources like videos and games to help distract yourself when your emotions are really intense. Like, of course, this is a more temporary fix because we don't wanna just keep distracting ourselves, but it really helps, especially in those moments when your emotions are super strong 
and you don't really know what else to do. The next app I wanna share with you is called OK Inside Habit Tracker. This app specifically helps with building habits that hopefully leads to improvement that sticks in long run. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I have a problem with building consistent habits, so I felt like this app was super simple and easy enough to follow. When you download the app, it asks you to pick a program out of 28 of them. So for example, I picked Understanding Our Fear of Failure. And then after that, it gives a short 10 minute lesson that you can read through or listen to. And then it gives you suggested habits that are related to that. You can either start the habits that they recommend or you can hit the habits tab at the bottom so that you can add your own habits for the day. So since it only lasts for however many days they have, like the ones I clicked on, it lasted anywhere from like three to five days. Once you're done with that program, you're able to either repeat it so that it sticks in the mind a little better, or you can go ahead and start a new program. What I really like about this app is that it's super simple. You have a bunch of different programs that you can choose from. The other thing is that it's more forward thinking. And what I mean by that is that yes, self-reflection is amazing in getting to know ourselves better, but what can we do now that we know this information. Like this app takes our mental health to the next level because we're able to keep improving and we're able to implement the skills that we've learned into our lives right now. And finally, the last app I wanna share in this video is called Mental Health Tracker Ear Kick. This app is a mood and habit tracker that helps to ease your anxiety. You can add journal entries by either typing it out, recording a voice memo, or with a video recording. It asks what made you feel that way and to add any emotions that you might be feeling, your level of anxiety, and what your symptoms were or are. Yes. So the home screen looks like this, where it gives an overview of the month and little emojis to represent how you were feeling that day. How you were feeling that day. <laughs> There's a tab for habit tracking, as well as a tab for meditation and breathing to help you manage your anxiety. If you're prone to having panic attacks, you know that it's really hard to think clearly when they happen. So at the bottom left corner, there's a panic button where if you press down on it, it takes you directly to a breathing exercise and times it out for you. What I like about this app is that you have the option of either doing a voice recording or a video recording. Like I hate texting, it just takes forever for me. So I love how efficient it is where I'm able to just talk out loud in real time, especially when I'm experiencing anxiety. Again, if you haven't checked it out yet, click right here to watch my first video on free mental health apps. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.